Welcome, I'd like to go through the Massey ranking system which leads nicely on from the Collie ranking system that I did in the previous video. The Massey ranking system was devised by Dr. Ken Massey. It, like the Collie method, is a series of linear equations that need to be solved. The difference between this Massey and versus Collie is that the score differential is used as the weight, the weighting. So we're going to set up a, uh, a simple a series of four teams labeled A, B, C and D and we use our directed graphs similar to what we used in the Collie method so we have team A beating team B now we add the extra information that they beat them by seven points team A however lost to team C by three points and so on so the diagram is fairly self-explanatory I hope you're getting the idea now we need to set up a four by four matrix so the four rows represent each of the four teams now in the diagonals we need to put how many games the team played so there's a subtle difference uh, in that entry between the Collie method so team A played two games team B played three games team C also played three games team D played two games and then we put in in the alternate cells how many games each of these teams played that team in that particular row so team B played team A once and we use a negative number to represent uh, that note however that team D didn't play team A at all so we use a zero so these are the rankings that we need to uh, solve we don't know what they are at the moment and then the weightings are the total score differentials so team A won by seven and then lost by three so overall they've won by four, four points. Team B lost by seven, won by 17 and then lost by three. So overall they're seven points up. Team C won by three but then lost by 17 and then lost by 10. So they're negative 24 and so on. What Massey found that this is not possible to solve these equations so we had to make one more assumption and this is the trick you can change any row I've just changed the last row to all ones each entry is a one and the weighting is zero so what Massey is doing is he's adding an assumption that all the all the weightings or all the rankings I mean uh, is a closed system so they all add up to zero so if one team gets a ranking of 0.5 another team must have the opposite to that a negative 0.5 so now it's in that form the equations can be solved I'll use Excel again to first of all find the inverse of that matrix so I need the inverse of a 4 by 4 matrix I've got the solution there but I'll just run through the steps again so you highlight out the 4 by 4 uh, matrix and then we need to use the Excel commands equals M in inverse enter the bracket highlight the matrix you want to find the inverse of it's that 4 by 4 in the bracket press control shift and enter simultaneously and then we get these so these answers for the inverse I then use that inverse and multiply it by this weightings matrix here to get me the final solution for what A, B, C and D are. So to do that I know the final result is going to be a 4 by 1 matrix so I'll highlight the area. There's the answers already but I'll use the uh, formula again which is M multiply M mult which stands for matrix multiplication and you uh, start your bracket. What's the first matrix? I want that 4 by 4 enter a comma and I want to multiply it by that weightings matrix in the bracket and then press control shift and enter simultaneously and there's my solutions for A, B, C and D so the ranking then is the highest number the highest number is uh, 4.37 so team D has the high, highest ranking the next highest is 1.75 so team B is second ranked and so on now I could have used uh, Wolfram Alpha to solve those sets of equations so once again I can use the function linear solve and as long as I've got the correct syntax you can have a close look at the syntax there I get the same solutions. 
So that, in a nutshell, is the Massey method. So students could uh, draw up different network diagrams of, of different arrangements of teams and then work out uh, rankings from that. Now overall, um, Dr. Tim Chartier used this system to rank the basketball, t the college basketball teams that participate in March Madness. So 64 teams participate in a knockout competition and he's shown the results for 2009. I'm trying to get other results. You can see um, usually they have about 10 million entries to, to guess the winners of each round. Um, so what this percent figure here is showing is how much the, a particular rating system beat, um, how many people they beat in terms of those 10 million people. So um, Collie with no weighting beat 62% of participants. Massey was a little bit higher. Uh, Collie with a weighting of, of uh, weighting games by weekly, in other words, um, you can also add weight in for momentum such that games that have played recently get much higher weight than games that were played a year ago. So when uh, Dr. Chartier did that, the Collie method jumped to a 97% figure. Notice that he's comparing with Obama. Obama puts in his uh, list of teams that he thinks will win. He beat 80% of entries. And then we have our so-called sports analysts. Uh, those who watch ESPN will recognize these names. So uh, Mike Greenberg, 70%, and good old Mike Golick only got 43%. Uh, so that's the Massey method. And if you remember back to the Collie video, using the Matthew Massey method predicted the final outcome of uh, the Australian Football League in 2014 uh, very accurately. So it predicted Hawthorne would win the premiership or become the top ranked team. Sydney's won second and so on. So it compares favourably at least for the top six teams. Thank you.